We're gonna hold the stones? Yeah, to like refresh your way. You just picked up the sizzling stone, bro. <laughs> Yo, Andrew, you gotta hear about this guy called uh -huh. Confucius. He's got some crazy right. ideas. Dude, is he the one who was talking about the duality between the good and the bad and the yin and the yang? Oh, oh, oh. Tell us what you're doing. Oh, oh. Genghis! You're what, what up, man? You made it over the wall? Have you ever had Mongolian food before? Ah, no. No? Now no, we're gonna get it. Let's go. Okay. Right, right now? Yeah. We're gonna go right, right now. now. I'm sure. So you, yeah. we're gonna invade, Let's go. we're gonna Let's invade go. our combo like that. Welcome everybody to a very authentic Mongolian episode of Fung Bros Food. And you know that we cannot try authentic Mongolian food without an authentic Mongolian person. We got Tam. Tam, Yo, what up? up? Dude, so in America, a lot of people eat Mongolian beef and Mongolian grill. And only recently have you been hearing about Mongolian hot pot in the past few years. But what we want to do today is dive into some authentic Mongolian food and see if those Mongolian dishes are actually really Mongolian. In the entire Southern California, I believe there is only one authentic Mongolian restaurant and we are here today. Yo, is this yeah. true? Free I read this online. Right. They, there's a saying in Mongolia that says, meat is for humans. Grass is for animals. Yeah, we do that because we have a lot of meat. Like 80%. 80% <laughs> so, of yeah. the diet is meat. I'm excited to have some authentic Mongolian food. Yao GD. Let's, Let's go. go. So it's here. It shows one of the main sports of Nadam, the national festival. First one is wrestling. Second one is horse racing. And the third one is archery. So instead of where's Waldo, it's, it's where's Genghis, man. <laughs> so we play like this. If you have four, then this. And if you get like four different uh, like this, then it means like you're lucky. Yo, Tim, yeah. we got a crazy spread here. I like, I've never seen food like this before. We, we need you to introduce each one. Yeah, so this is uh, Hosho. Hosho. Yeah. yeah. So it's like the most um, famous food. The national festival is the main food. Too. It's Russian. like a mix of Russian, yeah. Chinese, and Mongolian stuff. Hosho. <laughs> yeah. That's crispy and fluffy. And juicy. Not good. Wow. They will have some oil. It's gonna be ready in like three, three or five minutes. That's good. The amount of onions and beef and the juice. Watch this. Watch this. Dripping. I'm gonna pour up some tea real quick. It's Please. a milk tea. Milk, water, and tea, and salt. It, in what Mongolia, the, traditionally, they serve a lot of different milks, right? Like yeah. Different but yak milk, milk, horse milk. We're, we're Camel milk. Eric. If it can be milked, they're gonna milk it. <laughs> cool. cool. Right. This is like bulletproof coffee where you throw the butter into the coffee. It's a oh, very yeah. rich, like slightly salty. Which yeah. animal did this one come from? Cow. The main dishes here. Yo. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. We, we gotta we gotta We're going to talk about this one. Right now. Are those rocks? Okay. Rocks. Those are hot rocks. Hot rocks. So this is hot rock. First, you guys need to like collect the stones and then you need to like fire the stones to get it like really hot. It's not the fire, it's all about the stones. Why, why are you serving the stones? <laughs> so it's a process. We're gonna hold the stones now. You're gonna hold the stones? Yeah. Like refresh your way. You just metal. picked up the sizzling stone, bro. <laughs> hold on. It's really hot. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> uh, my, mine is okay. Good play. Yeah, let me get that one. Let me okay. trade you. Let me trade you. All right. All right. Hey, you gotta take this one. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. So and after you burn your hand, <laughs> we're gonna eat the meat. Eat the meat. Lamb right. that was cooked with rocks. Yeah. Hot hog. Hot hog. Hot hog. Hot hog. Hot hog. Yeah. No predominant spice. It's just straight to the earth. Wait, wait. Did oh. This this came with the hot hog, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So how do we eat this? So it's a flour. Wow. Look Not at this. Cut. Yeah. Look at this. Let me unravel pizza. this. <laughs> Let me unravel this for you guys. You put the meat. And then while it later you put the vegetables and then the, you put the flour on the top. So you just oh you put the flour on top. So let's go to this one. So oh. looks like a stir fry kind of chopped up noodle. And this is some battle food, man. You, you got to <laughs> David. We gotta fight after this. Yeah. And we gotta get in a fight. <laughs> fry the meat and the vegetables first, and put some water, and then put the, the noodles on the top mm. and steam it for a while, and then you just. Mm. Shake it up. Shake it up. You guys know it's both, right? Dumplings. Mm -hmm. It's in Chinese and Baozi, right? Yeah, Baozi. 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 Oh, so it's the same word. So it's the same word. Did you grab it with my hand? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Look. Yeah, it's a huge this. Boys. So, so, so this, this one is, is a, like a more, like a moon. Shape. Okay. You see that like a moon, right? Like a, it's called sheep. 
And oh. then there's a, like a, just a round bullet, okay. like a circle one. Flavor between green onions, white onions, and the beef. Yo, this is really good. So this is punch. So I'm going to use this with the milk tea, you know, like uh, boil it with the like the milk tea. Okay. You boil it in the milk tea? Yeah. Okay. So it's more like uh, healthier food. You just you drop that dumpling tea. into your milk tea. I've never seen that before. Well, so you guys pour the milk tea on some dishes? Yeah, some. Like like day after, we just make some hot milk tea and just pour it inside. I'm dropping on in my milk tea. Boom. I'm going to have one regular too. Or I'm trying my milk tea dumpling. Okay. Dude. Different now? Yeah, more, way more like moist. Mm. Famous soup and noodle, yeah? That looks great, yo. Huta. 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 Okay. It's like a mix of so much food inside. So there's some noodles. Oh, some clear noodles. Meatballs. And sliced meat. Oh, and potatoes. Nice. When would you eat this? Like after hangovers. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. This is, this is that Mongolian pho almost. Yo, it's crazy. It almost smells like a pizza. Oh, yo, that just yeah. warms up my soul right there. What about this stuff? Is this the salad? Is that potato think, salad? Yeah. yeah, it's a potato salad. It's is that more, traditional? It's Russian influence. Rush, oh, Russian yeah. potato salad. Okay. So this is Kulesh. It's not Mongolian. Came in when the Russians have, like influence came in. For like 28 years ago, there was a Soviet Union. It's like more Russian influence, yeah. you know. Right. Everybody got to learn Russian, right? Russian. Wait, Mongolia? Your, 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 parents, your parents speak Russian. Russian. Mongolia was part of the Soviet Union. Yeah, this is a great transition point to talk about the Mongolian identity because from my research, it, there were so many different nomadic tribes up there. Yeah. And then they all kind of got mixed into one, right? Yeah. By Genghis Khan. By Genghis Khan, okay. Yeah. Genghis Khan unified them as one yeah. culture. And made it Mongol. And made Mongol. Mongol Empire. Mm. It was established in 1206. But in Mulan, that's not Genghis Khan. Shenyu. No, Hans is like way back. Oh, it's way back. Yeah. Okay. What do you think there is the future now? Like, what do people want? Because it is kind of like viewed as this like East Asian country. You guys look like a Japanese, a Korean, or a Chinese, but with like maybe like kind of like a twist, right? I think it's gonna be like safe and how do you say it? like preserve, preserve the nomadic lifestyle okay. forever. Right. You think that that is the destiny of Mongolia? Yeah, that's the destiny. To, to preserve this nomadic lifestyle that existed thousands of years ago, yeah. and it will continue to continue. exist. Talk to us about the Mongolian wrestling. Every sumo like the champions are Mongolian. Right. I heard that in Japan. I heard. So when you when a wrestler comes in, it's like oh, everybody is <laughs> like you know getting proud and stuff because oh, <laughs> they are like always big guys. <laughs> I heard Genghis Khan was very uh, open to different religions when he was. Yeah, uh, it's not the religion anymore. It's oh, like, like more to the belief, way of belief. life. Yeah, because okay. if you're a shaman and you have a spirit, the spirit comes into your body and you just talk like you know talk to a person and you ask them, like real stuff you know oh, okay. and he tells the real stuff tell us about your life in mongolia because you were actually a tv producer oh yeah uh, i had a tv channel like a tv producer and an advertising agency so i do graphic designs videos and tv contents and stuff. all the modern stuff modern stuff <laughs> so i tried to like develop the urban culture back in mongolia mixing with the like the ancient mongolian Cultures. Say Mongolian Grill, like you go to the mall, they have a place that I actually like to go to called Great Khan. Is it the whole grill thing that's not authentic? If you go back to the 13th century, it's invented by, so the warriors camp anywhere. So they just put the shield, you know, the big, big shield and put the meats and just chop it with the sword. Right. It's almost like taking your hat off and then just cooking with your hat. And that's a hot pot. Do you think there's anything that... Asian Americans can take away from the Mongolian attitude about life. You guys do, you know, like media is the big power now. So we just need to spread the cultures and stuff, educational. You know what it is? How about this? How about this? We could be more Mongolian or Genghis like in spreading our culture. Not not in attacking though. Not yeah. in attacking physically. Aggressively yeah. <laughs> aggressively spreading our culture. <laughs> <laughs> you got any um, projects that you, because I think that a lot of young Mongolian Americans are going to see this video. The name is Ancient Urban Kid. So ancient, as we talk, it, this is the history. So I'm a kid from an ancient history. Right. Country. Ancient country, right? Okay. And I'm an urban kid. So like it's a mix of ancient urban kid. So I'm doing a same as you guys, YouTube show. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So targeting some stuff. and I'm Is gonna it going to be a Mongolian or English or both? Both. Okay. So I'm gonna target Mongolians, educate some urban culture, okay. and I'm gonna do some ancient culture to America. Just the fact that you came here and said, you know what, 
I'm gonna start my own Mongolian English media station. We'll publish that right now, Ancient Urban Kid. Ancient Urban I think, Kid. I think you know what it is? Maybe in a very classic Mongolian fashion, your actions speak a lot louder than your words. Thank you. Uh, Aren't you, you guys, thank you so much for watching that Mongolian episode of Congo's Food. Huge shout out to Tem. Thank Brother, you guys, man. thank you, thank you for having me. Baita. <laughs> Baita is like thank you. Baita. Baita. Tem at A-U-K dot world. Let us know in the comments below and also if there's any other cuisines around the area that you guys want us to try and delve deep into that are very interesting. Let us know in the comments below too. All right, everybody, thank you so much. This is Tam, David, Andrew from the Fun Bros. We just ate Mongolian food. Until next time, we out. Peace. So thank you for having me, guys. And I'm talking to the viewers, and maybe I talked about wrong things, or I, I don't know. Like how do there's so bad and good stuff, right? Right, right, right. right. So right. I hope you guys will understand my like. Uh, perspective, perspective, perspective and, and opinion. also my English, you know. Okay. He just got here three <laughs> months ago, okay? Yeah. Maybe the way, you're saying maybe the way you said things. Said things is wrong or like, I don't know. So if some of the nuance or the detail got yeah. messed up, you're just like, hey man, forgive me. Yeah, forgive me. Hey, this is just one of the many Mongolian people in the world, okay? Yeah. But he did share his opinions today. So thank you, Tim. That's and great. thank you for showing us this food.